Good morning. Soon we are now at uh, Acts chapter 17 verses 10 to 15 which uh, talks about uh, Paul and Silas' uh, encounter uh, with the Bereans. Uh, it starts with ver verse 10 uh, where Paul and Silas uh, experienced uh, persecution in Thessalonica and so they moved on to Berea. So why did they flee? Uh, they fled in obedience to Christ. Ang instructions ni Cristo sa kanila, when they persecute you, flee to the next town. So they fled not for their safety, but for the carrying on of their work. Flee there not to hide. Flee there to preach. And so, as it were, Ixun, the evil work of the devil to arrest the spread of the gospel has resulted in its advance. Thus, God used persecution to increase the reach of the gospel. Dito sa situation natin ngayon uh, in the midst of COVID-19 where much of the work has been hampered, parang napigilan ang trabaho ng gospel. But instead, Ixun, we praise God because He is working through the limitations. Uh, even with the limitations that we are experiencing, He is using technology. Cell phones, yung paggamit natin ng cell phones, yung possibilities ng video conferencing, paggamit ng mga email natin, mga blogs, and so on. God is using all of that to spread the gospel. And so, uh, nung nakarating sila sa uh, Berea, even thinking perhaps that they would encounter the same resistance from the Jews there as they did in Thessalonica, Paul and Silas nonetheless went to preach Christ in the synagogue there. But they found the Bereans to be of good character, uh, not quick to judge. No, hindi sila judgmental. And they gave Paul and Silas kind of fair hearing. You know. So, may kita mo talaga that these Bereans are of good breeding. Ang term nga na ginamit ng scripture sa kanila ay they were noble. But here's the amazing thing. Sabi dun sa verse 11, they search the scriptures daily to find out if these things were true. No, they didn't just accept what Paul said and taught. In their daily discipline of searching the word, Paul showed them the scriptures which declare Christ as Lord and Savior to those who would believe. At sabi dun sa verse 12, so many Jews receive the word and the spirit with joy and many Gentiles and prominent women who also brought their husbands. Ixuan, our Christ is not afraid of scrutiny. And so we are not afraid to proclaim him as he himself will testify through his word, that he is truth. Searching the scriptures must be our daily work. Those are truly noble. Ano yung noble? Yung maharlika, mga dakila. Those are truly noble, they who make the scriptures their daily guide and standard, and consult them accordingly. They who rightly study the scripture and meditate in them day and night have their minds filled with noble thoughts. They gain noble principles in their lives and they are made ready for noble aims and plans. They are truly noble, it's so unfit for the royal children 
of the king. So, verse 13, sinasabi, Now, when the Jews in Thessalonica heard about what happened in Berea, they came there to incite the people against Paul and Silas. Trabaho talaga ng demonyo na ihamper ang pag-spread ng gospel. And guess what happened? It was like the devil tried to put out the fire of the gospel with gasoline. Dahil sabi dun sa verses 14 and 15, By the power and the Spirit of God, on to Athens did the gospel go, to that famous city known for its power and strength, famous for learning where scholars gather. Those who wanted learning went there, to Athens, and it was a perfect place to spread the light of the gospel. Paul is sent there, unashamed and unafraid to encounter the philosophers there, and there to preach Christ crucified though he knew that it would be foolishness to the Greeks as it was a stumbling block to the Jews. And when he saw that there was much work there, he called for Silas and Timothy to come quickly to him. Soon it would seem that the work that Christ has given to us is difficult, full of challenge and sacrifice. But if we look beyond ourselves and imbibe the passion and the mission of God in our lives, in casting the net to catch those whom He had foreordained for eternity with Him, then like Paul, we shall all have fulfilled our destiny and have glorified God with our mean and humble lives. God bless you, excellent.